with Premier Marketing. And with us today, I have uh, David Neal, Brokerage Sales Director from Mutual of Omaha. And David's taking some time out of his day today to talk to us about Term Life Express and why that should be part of your portfolio. So uh, we will use the chat feature for questions. Uh, we'll get to those at the end. So uh, sit back. Thanks for taking time and uh, take it away, David. Well, great. Well, hey, thanks. Uh, thanks, Kelly, uh, for that introduction and your time. And of course, thank you to everybody um, attending uh, the webinar today. Sounds like we've got a nice, um, a nice crowd out there today. And I know everybody's busy, so I appreciate your time. But um, again, so what I was asked to present on today is uh, really just, just one of the products in our simplified issue product portfolio. And that's our Term Life Express or TLE for short. Now with a, with a group of this size, there's, you know, there's gonna be varying levels of uh, knowledge of this product and, and, um, and even maybe Mutual of Omaha has a company. So some of this may be review for some of you and some of it may be, you know, maybe uh, new information to you. So we'll, we'll, we'll just uh, start with that. One of the things I always like to do in a presentation like this is to kind of start, especially for, excuse me, for those of you that are uh, newer or new to doing business with Mutual of Omaha, at least on the life side, is, um, you know, why, why do business with us? And again, this isn't meant to be a company commercial, just to give you uh, some some background as to who we are, again, if, especially if you're new to us, and give you a, a great deal of confidence as to who we are. As you all know, this is a very <clears throat> competitive business and industry. And, um, you know, one of the things you'll find advantageous if you haven't already found this is that, you know, with Mutual of Omaha, when you're talking to your prospects and clients about Mutual of Omaha and the products we offer, you're never going to have to explain who we are. We've got very uh, strong brand recognition, very strong financially, been in business for a long time, dedicated team. Really, I'm just the, the tip of the iceberg, if you will. You get, of course, you've got the great uh, folks there at Premier to help you out. Very competitive, simplified issue product portfolio, which we'll be touching on one of those products today. And then we try to make doing business with us as, as seamless and as easy as possible. And so we'll touch a little bit on some of the uh, process uh, oriented items as well. When I mentioned brand recognition, um, if you're, uh, you know, if you're older like me, you, you grew up watching uh, Michelle of Omaha, uh, you know, uh, the Wild Kingdom TV show, and that's kept alive in a very variety of different ways now. We also do, we're very active with our golf sponsors. So uh, for you golfers or golf fans out there, you'll recognize that. And again, this just helps. It's keeping our name out there uh, and, and helps you when you're, when you're talking to your prospects and clients about Mutual of Omaha. Again, you're, you're, you're very rarely, if ever, gonna, gonna get the question, who, who are they? What is that company? I've never heard of them. Again, financially, very strong. You can see we have very strong uh, ratings from the three major rating agencies. So again, I mentioned that <clears throat> so that you have, especially if you're newer, newer to Mutual of Omaha on the life side, at least, that you, you, know, you have that confidence in who we are. I mentioned there's, you know, there's no shortage of support here at Mutual of Omaha, whether it's from, you know, myself and the team behind me, but then also, of course, the great folks there at Premier. And so, uh, you know, never hesitate to contact us. And uh, also, I wanted to point out, um, obviously, feel free to take notes, but uh, you'll be receiving a, a copy of these slides. I've already sent it to Kelly and, and she can... Um, at least I assume is can can send those out can send this slide deck out to you after the presentation. <clears throat> before we uh, you know before we drill down specifically on Term Life Express or TLE, I wanted to give you a, a sense for our entire simplified issue product portfolio. And, and and the point of this, and I love this slide because it shows how broad and deep our <clears throat> simplified issue product portfolio is. I'm sure many of you know us. Uh, from the final expense side of things with Living Promise, you know, we're the market leader in, in final expense sales. Uh, and so probably uh, 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 some of you folks know us from that. But in addition to that, you can see here all the different products that we have, and we're gonna touch on TLE Term Life Express today. But I wanted to give you the sense that, you know, when you look at that in our Index Universal Life product, which is a very dynamic product that we can maybe have a, a future session on, but then our children's whole life, our accidental death product, 
you can see that there's that you know we are far from a one trick pony uh, uh, when it comes to the product offerings we have available for you. I always forget that there's animation on this. I hit enter and on the bottom there, you can see no labs, no paramed, no APS uh, attending physician statement, quick issue. And that's just the heart of simplified issue underwriting. As you know, and again, I can't assume all of you know this, but simplified issue underwriting is not a guaranteed issue. You know, there is, there is uh, underwriting involved, but it is also not full underwriting, full me medical underwriting. Uh, we can help you with that. We have a complete portfolio of fully underwritten products for larger face amounts. Um, but, you know, what we're focusing on today is one of the products in our simplified issue product portfolio. It really streamlines that underwriting process and takes a lot of the traditional hurdles, if you will, of medical underwriting out of the equation. This is just another way of looking at the, the same thing I just showed you. Like, um, Again, maybe we can have future sessions where we can talk about some of this, but I w I'd like to point out, I'm not sure if you can see my cursor, but you know, if you look here at our IUL Express, which is our fastest growing product in terms of sales, uh, Living Promise is still our number one selling product, but IUL Express has, t has taken off. But if you look at IUL Express and Term Life Express, they have identical underwriting. What I always like to point out is if you look at these younger issue ages, you can offer your clients with, with both of these products, but today we're going to talk about TLA up to $300,000 uh, of coverage on a truly simplified issue underwriting basis. If they need more coverage than that, we can help you with that as well with our fully underwritten products. And as you can see here on the bottom of the slide, all of these are available on our e-app. And then um, these products here, IUL Express, Term Life Express and Living Promise are available, of course, on the e-app, but also with instant decision available. <laughs> And we'll touch a little bit on our instant uh, on our on our e app here near the in, in a few slides. Again, just another another look at it. Uh, some of this is repetitive, I suppose, in terms of this slide. But again, can't can't stress enough the advantage of simplified issue underwriting. It really it's great. Number one, first and foremost, for your clients because they get the coverage that they need as quickly as possible. But guess what? Because that policy is getting underwritten and issued as quickly as possible, you're getting paid faster, which you deserve for all the hard, hard work you're doing out there in the field. Again, some of the processes, we talked about simplified underwriting. We'll touch briefly in a, in a little bit on some of our quoting tools and then again on our e-app. <clears throat> so with that, we'll, let's dig down a little bit further into uh, Term Life Express. There's you know, that's not a, not a ton to talk about with really any term product, right? Because it's term insurance, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, but there's a few takeaways I'd like you to have. Again, here are these face amounts that I mentioned. Are these younger issue ages, up to $300,000 of coverage <clears throat> with, medical, with simplified issue underwriting. And then it's really, it's really not just one product. It's, 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 a, it's a product portfolio, if you will, where you can see with these different guarantee periods of 10, 15, 20, and 30 years. And what's very much a competitive advantage for us is we even offer a return of premium option or ROP on our 30 year uh, TLE, 30 year guarantee. And return of premiums have sort of gone away uh, even on the fully underwritten side. So we're, uh, this is a big competitive differentiator for us because we offer it and, and we offer it on a simplified issue product. We'll, we'll touch on that a little bit more. I mentioned, <clears throat> you know, again, simplified underwriting is is there is there is underwriting involved it's just not full underwriting and the point of this chart is just to show you that the different um underwriting requirements and how they change they don't change much but how they change at the as we go up in age uh in in things like that and with the varying face amounts <clears throat> one of the things that in the, those of you that um, know us well and have already sold us thank you number one but you also know that we at Mutual of Omaha follow a product design and pricing strategy of, of, of providing you and ultimately your clients, right? A very competitively priced base product, which you definitely have with TLE, Term Life Express. But in addition to that, offer a robust selection of riders. So it's not just one thing you're talking about. It's not just the death benefit, which of course is, is a main driver, especially in a term sale. But we have a number of different riders. This slide, I'm not going to read through all these. It's self-explanatory. These are the cost riders. So these are the cost riders. Obviously, what that means is they're they're uh, you know available for purchase. There's an additional cost uh, to these riders. 
and I'm going to talk about our no cost riders as well. One of the things that, um, you know, we, in this business, we're always happy to have something new to talk about And back in, in, um, you may have noticed this with various communications, but back on February 1st, we now have our living benefit riders on our TLE return to premium on our, our 30 year, uh, return to premium TLE. It used to be that we didn't have our full suite of, of, uh, living benefit riders on our ROP, just on our non ROP. So this is a big thing. We've got, you know, a lot, I'll, I'll show you some more details on this, but now you can have the confidence of being able, whether you're using term life express with return of premium or without return of premium, it is, uh, you're going to have availability of these living benefit riders, which is a great segue. So I talked about just a couple slides ago, I talked to you about, the cost riders, right? The additional cost riders. These are the TLE no cost benefits, uh, no cost riders. These are automatically included at no additional cost. That's why it says no cost. And I would very much argue that it, they are anchored by these living benefit riders. And I know I'm probably preaching to the choir to, on some of you, to some of you who uh, like using, you know, you know, like talking about living benefits, <clears throat> whether it's with Mutual of Omaha or other life insurance carriers. But it really is, and I'll, I'll give you some examples or more detail on this. Yeah, these, all these other riders are, are fine. They're all automatically included. It's not a decision anybody needs to make. But again, I would, I would argue strongly that that's anchored uh, <clears throat> very much by these living benefit riders for terminal, chronic, and critical illness. Because, because why? Well, in the big picture, you know, again, you've got that very competitively priced uh, base term product, but now you've got living benefits to talk to your clients about. And again, just, you know, these, uh, these riders, uh, these living benefit riders you see here, the identical riders are available on our IUL Express, our Index Universal Life um, Simplified Issue product. And so um, it's just a great thing because now you're able to have a, a such a, a much more, in my opinion, complete and comprehensive conversation with your prospects and clients because you can now talk about things other than the death benefit which is, of course, that's fine. You want to talk about that and, and make sure they have the appropriate amount of coverage. But now you can talk to them about living benefits. So let's drill down a little bit uh, on this. Uh, this just shows, for those of you that do any business in California, you know that California is uh, historically and infamous, infamously very uh, tricky and difficult, I guess you'd say, uh, when it comes to product approval and rider approval. So the takeaway here is we don't yet have uh, these living benefits available uh, inside of California uh, or the clients in California. But of course, if it's not a California application, you in fact have the uh, riders uh, for chronic term terminal and critical illness. So the, the riders do differ um, on between specifically the term life express and what, what the riders I'm talking about are the living benefit riders. And they do differ a little bit between the return of premium and the non-return of premium. I'm a big fan of full disclosure. So let's take a look at this. Um, so for the non-return uh, return of premium, uh, Term Life Express non-ROP living benefit riders, you can see here, um, <clears throat> you know, for, for terminal, chronic, and critical illness, the situations in which the insured you know, the client would become benefit eligible. So these are the, you know, I'm not going to read them to you. You can see them there um, and you'll have these slides, but these, these are what would make the client benefit eligible. And these benefits, and we'll look at it a little closer. These benefits, by the way, if you, if you want, because I get this question a lot, where are the benefit dollars coming from? Well, they, these benefits are paid all by uh, an acceleration of death benefit. They're not paid from cash value, right? There's no cash value of term. So these are all paid out by, an acceleration of benefit, uh, of death benefit. And you can see, you can have this conversation with your clients and prospects, you know, well beyond the death benefit um, and have a conversation about how, how nice it would be if they needed it for any one of these situations to be able to access the death benefit early and, and have the, and take advantage of a living benefit in addition to a death benefit. This is bolded here. So what, what I want to show you, one of the differences, and there aren't, like I said, there's not big differences between ROP and non-ROP, but for terminal illness, it's the, the period of time is 12 months or less. That'll make sense when I get to the other slide. 
But again, you'll have copies of these. You know, a little caveats here. I already talked about California and how tricky they are. And that's not just for mutual of OMA, it's for really all carriers. Um, but a, a couple of things here that you can see uh, for the non-ROP, um, just a few caveats there. And th this slide here talks to you about, um, you know, what happens when the rider is used. There's no cost for these riders. I, I mentioned that. Uh, there's a nominal cost when the rider is uh, utilized, when, when a client becomes benefit eligible and we're paying out <clears throat> those benefits. So there's, there's a discount factor and, and there's a life expectancy discount, not to get too much into the weeds, but we have to do some of that actuarial discounting. Why? Because we're paying out the death benefit earlier than we anticipated, right? Because these benefits are paid through an acceleration of death benefit. One thing that's important to point out, because it's an acceleration of death benefit, and we all know that all life insurance death benefits are 100% income, income tax-free, these benefits, these living benefits that we pay out would also be uh, income tax-free. So a couple slides ago, I showed you the Term Life Express with non-return of premium. Here it is with ROP. So one of those minor, all these things are the same, terminal, chronic, critical illness. The conditions in which trigger the benefits being paid uh, are the same with the one exception on terminal illness. It's the time period is 24 months, two years or less with the TLE. Uh, with return to premium uh, living benefit riders. Again, uh, California, I already mentioned that, not available yet. We, by the way, we are constantly working with the state of California and, uh, you know, answering object objections. It's just sort of a nonstop back and forth, but we hope to be there. We hope to be there soon or certainly as, as soon as possible. And again, with the living, uh, this is again a slide re related to uh, TLE with return of premium. What happens when it's used? Um, again, a nominal administration fee and some discounts um, that are uh, put into effect for when we pay those benefits out. I think I might have a slide coming up here that quantifies that. So I've been talking a lot about return of premium. Um, and I guess for some people, I mean, that's it, return of premium is sort of a self explanatory <clears throat> benefit. But I wanted to point out a few things. So, like I mentioned, it's it's only available on our 30 year uh, guarantee term. Um, and what what a lot of people don't know and what this slide points out is there's actually two options at the end of the term period. Um, we expect that most people will will choose option one, which is your traditional return to premium, where, you know, at the end of the term period, in this case, 30 years, they have all their premiums returned and, and, and surrender the policy. Um, you know, we expect that to be probably the most popular choice. But if for whatever reason, the client still has a need for coverage or some amount of coverage to remain in place, they can reduce the face amount and have a paid up policy, no further premiums all the way out to age 100. So just wanted to point out that you do, in fact, or the client does, in fact, have a couple of choices at the end of the uh, term period. Conversions, this is another pretty cool thing that I'm, again, not just a term product, but a simplified issue term product. With coverage amounts all the way up to 300,000 at the younger issue ages, you can convert this product. Uh, at, you know, as it says, at the end of the level term period or uh, the policy anniversary at the insured 70th birthday. And we, and it's not, not just a, 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 you know, a conversion product we have available. We do have one of those. We have our whole life conversion product that you can see. But you can convert this into our IUL Express product, which again, I hope we'll have a chance in, in, um, on a future session for me to tell you all about uh, the IUL Express product. But it's nice that you have those conversion options. And of course, as with any conversion, the slide here points out some of the commission, um, uh, some of the commission um, issues as it relates to commissions being paid on, on the conversion. And then uh, if you know us well, or even a little bit, you know that we have no shortage of marketing materials available, uh, both materials that are, you know, uh, tailored towards you, the professional, the insurance agent, uh, that is, you know, the writing agent, and then also client materials. And so we, um, we really like to, um, you know, make those available to you. And, and there's, I'll show you here in a little bit, you know, you can get those from two of our different websites. 
Now I wanted to talk a little bit, you know, so we, you know, hopefully it wasn't too fast. I wanted it to be, you know, high level, but give you some takeaways as to, you know, what makes the product so competitive. And like I said, it's not just the pricing, it's those living benefit riders um, and, and, and some of the other things we talked about. So it's a very, it's a very competitive uh, turn product offering for your clients. <clears throat> now switching gears a little bit to automated underwriting or some, I would just say more process related issues. And for those of you, you know, automated, automated underwriting is what is happening behind the scenes with our e-app. So, you know, the benefits are pretty uh, straightforward and pretty clear. Uh, you know, you're going to be able with our e-app, you're going to be able to, you know, 24 seven, always available. You know that it's by definition, every submission, every application submission will be in good order because it won't let you proceed otherwise. And, you know, you can do it. Uh, you can do this, you know, with the client, you can do it virtually, all, all these tools, you know, our e-app and, and, and a lot of the other tools are available, um, you know, that you could have on your phone or, or your tablet or what have you. We still, I will point out, we still do accept paper applications, even though our e-app is over 90% adoption. We still offer paper applications. I think we always will, or I think always should, just in case you're in a situation where, where you're meeting with a client in their home or somewhere where there is not good uh, Wi-Fi or maybe no internet connection and you still want to take the app. That, that's why I think we'll always have the, um, the paper app available. Just thought a little bit on the process. This is all pretty, again, self-explanatory. You fill out the information and uh, have you know, the client sign the HIPAA authorization, ask the questions as you go through the e-app and you complete it and submit. And then, and then again, somewhat self-explanatory, that's submitted to our home office. You'll immediately get an email confirmation with the policy number. There'll be any uh, outstanding underwriting requirements or administrative things will be handled at that point and then the policy is mailed out. Now this slide, uh, and again, you'll have these, I don't know if you can see my cursor, but if you notice when I move my cur cur cursor over these uh, different uh, links, these are active links. And so what these are our training videos, and I can't say enough about these, they, they're really well done. Um, and the reason we have them is, you know, for people that are new or newer to Mutual of Omaha on the life side, um, you know, let's say you've never done a case with us. Let's say you've never used our e-app. Well, we want you to be fully prepared as to what to expect. So you are prepared when you're meeting uh, and walking through it with your client. So for the various different products and the different signature methods, we have these videos that are, you know, 10, 12 minutes, <coughs> very well, <coughs> excuse me, very well done. Walk you through step by step. Some of you know our e-app, you don't need to, unless you want a refresher, you, you don't need to look at these. Uh, for those of you that haven't used our e-app, I would strongly recommend coming in here. And again, you'll have these slides and you can click right there and it'll take you to the most up-to-date version of that training video. And then, you know, that way, if you've never done an e-app with us, or maybe just one or two, and you want to be reminded of what to expect, you're going to have that. So I really urge you to take a look at those, those training tools. Um, and then just some other tools to help you grow your the sales. This, this is a great site. Because what this is, some of you are familiar, I'm sure, with our full producer web website, which is Sales Professional Access, or SPA for short, and that's a great website. But again, uh, for some of you that may not be set up and contracted with us yet, uh, and you don't have access to Sales Professional Access, this is what we call our simplified issue microsite. So you go to this address and you you get in there and there's a tremendous amount of material, the key being no login required. So if you're brand new, you're not set up with us, not contracted appointed with us, but you want to, you want, you know, you want to start learning and, and what have you, you can go here, no login, no credentials needed, and you can have access to the training videos, the marketing materials, things like that. So that's another resource I would want you, I would urge you to take a look at. Some of you are very uh, familiar with this, which is our mobile quoting tool. Uh, quotes on the go. It's very easy to use. There's a couple screenshots of what that looks like. So you've got, um, you know, this would be something, especially with a term sale or a final expense sale, very, very easy to use. So you can get that information regarding what you need uh, to get that quote for your client. And again, here's just a screenshot of 
one of the initial screens from our e-app and then the products that are available with that that I've already touched on. And again, this doesn't help you much, right? It's just a screenshot, but those training videos uh, most definitely do. Um, and the re another reason we have those training videos is we don't have what they call a sandbox. I love that phrase, a, a way for me or anybody to go in and demo it for you. If there was, I'd walk one, I'd walk through uh, a case with you right now, but, but in reality, that's why we created the training videos and the training videos do a really, really good job of that. Again, this IGO e-app is our e-app electronic application. Touched on a lot of this already, somewhat self-explanatory. You, you, you never have to worry about it not being in good order and having, you know, having all the most up-to-date and state-specific forms. By definition, you're using the e-app and uh, that takes care of all that for you. So with that, I am going to pause and take a big drink of water and uh, I will turn it over back over to you Kelly or however you want to do it open it up for questions um, and so we'll, let's uh, let's take it from there thanks David so much great information um, one thing that I want to touch on before we get into the few questions that we have and I sincerely hope that Mutual is still doing this um, in light of COVID, but when you talked about the uh, marketing materials, Mutual of Omaha is one of the very few carriers that allow you as the agent to have your personal information overprint on their flyers, postcards, um, product information that you can send out to your clients. Um, so it's it's great that you have the Mutual of Omaha branding, but you also have your information on it as well. Um, and that is just one thing that I I really appreciate from that. Yeah, thank you. Good good point, Kelly. And, and we do have that the ability. You know, it, it, I think one of the more more popular pieces we have is our it's for Living Promise, but, but you know the postcards, right? That you a lot of you have probably seen where you can personalize it with your own information and pick whatever you know. So it's it, it's a quoting tool, and not a quoting tool, but it's a it's a postcard where you can put sample rates on. You pick the rates. You can put you know the agent can put their contact information on. So yeah, uh, and none of that to your comment regarding COVID or. Uh, you know, as we as we hopefully phase away from the pandemic, uh, none of that, <coughs> excuse me, none of that has changed. All those resources are are still available. If anything, we have more resources available. So, yeah. Perfect. And so if there is something that anybody would like to have over print with your personal information, just reach out to uh, myself, Kathy, Melissa here at Premier, and we can um, get get that uh, set up for you. Um, one of the questions that was asked here is, is Mutual of Omaha an age nearest or age last company? Um, they are an age last. Yep. So if you are 50 years old today and your birthday is next week, you're gonna be 50 years old when um, you quote this product. So until they have their birthday, yep. they are, are that age. Um, yeah, great, great. Sorry. <clears throat> great question and and great answer, Kelly. Because especially, I would argue, especially so with a term sale, right? Because it's pretty price sensitive. So being uh, age last is, is is a biggie. Yeah. Definitely. Um, there's a question yeah. on the accelerated benefits, specifically on the chronic illness benefit, um, on how that death benefit is paid out. Um, is it paid out in full? Or is it paid out in allotments? Yeah, you, so you can have more than, it's not paid out in full. So you can have the shortest way to answer that question with that on the non, remember, so there were differences between the um, living benefits on the term, you know, with ROP and without ROP. So the big, the, so with, so with TLE, the living benefit riders, uh, on, um, I think the question for this one was with critical illness. Without return of premium, the multiple accelerations are allowed, okay? Not just a one time. If, however, 
and Life Express living benefit riders with return of premium, it's just a one-time uh, acceleration. So with without return of premium, you can have multiple accelerations of death benefits and so not just a one-time deal, right? But with return of premium, it's a one-time payment. It's a one-time acceleration. Perfect. And then uh, yeah. with that acceleration, um, since you are saying that it can be multiple times, that situation where they're unable to do two of their six ADLs does not have to be deemed permanent by a physician, correct? Correct. <clears throat> yep. Very good point. Yep. So that is another added benefit with this. these plans. Um, there are several carriers that offer a chronic illness rider and there are many that require that that uh, triggering condition of their two of six ADLs be deemed permanent in order to activate that. So where they're able to have this multiple times is, is a really big feature. Um, will you accelerate mm -hmm. the entire death benefit or do you leave a residual? So, so with the return of premium there's so there's a there, i wish there was a simple answer like yes or no <laughs> but with the return of premium terminal illness and again that's defined as a 24 month life with life expectancy not the 12 months as you have you know with the non-return of premium the terminal illness uh in, with uh, in that case pays out 92 percent of the death benefits or not all of it but a lot of it and then on the non-ROP, it's the, the max is 80%. Perfect. Um, and, and, and I know there's, there's, there's detail there. And it's certainly we have, uh, if somebody, if you'd like, you know, we have um, a couple of samples that get more into the weeds and the de details as to how, you know, all, all of these things. Because it's not easy to remember all this, but I'm just trying to give you kind of the main differences. Gotcha. Um, yeah. So another question we have here is, do you consider Alzheimer's disease a triggering condition for any of the accelerated benefits? Uh, yeah, I think, let's go back. My screen hasn't, let's see. You guys can still see my screen, right? Yes. Okay. I don't want to misquote this, so. Uh, with ROP, so yeah, so for uh, and the same would be true for non ROP, but this one, as you can see on the top, this is with ROP. So, for the question was, um, was for a, a cognitive issue, right? So, that would fall yes. under the chronic, yeah, chronic illness. So, again, like you were just saying, uh, uh, unable to perform two of the six ADLs, or, or um, as it sa says here specifically substantial supervision due to a severe cognitive impairment. So, so another question, how is it differentiated? Um, because that slide does say that it's, you know, severe cognitive impairment under the chronic illness, but it also goes a step further under the critical illness piece to list that out separately. How is that differentiation made of which acceleration is used? Well, it, I mean, it, the, they're very, they can, they can all, I mean, there some of these, some of these triggers, if you look at this slide are really can be very simple, uh, can be very similar, right? Like what the, I mean, terminal illness is, is different than chronic and critical illness, right? But the, if you, as you can see, uh, the differences between chronic illness and critical illness in terms of how we define it are uh, a little bit different. So the way that I would answer that question is for chronic and critical illness, this slide here shows you how, what would make a client benefit eligible. And then the benefits are, are paid out through an acceleration of death benefit. Um, you know, with the caveat being there's some differences between the return of premium li living benefit riders on term life express and the non return of premium living benefit riders on term life express. But again, <clears throat> These are the conditions that would make the individual would make the client benefit eligible, and then that's when the benefits would be uh, eligible eligible to be paid out. Okay, um, yeah. we have some questions about showing the client an illustration. 
Uh, since this is a term plan, there's really not an illustration that's required, uh, but you can do a full illustration to show, uh, especially with the return of premium, what that return of premium would be based on when the client surrendered their policy. Yep, yep, and that's a great question or point or comment, whoever brought that up, because I don't, um, it's not in this presentation, but you can run a full illustration. Um, uh, for instance, you could go into WinFlex Web, which is, you know, where you would go to run a lot of more traditional life insurance, index universal life, et cetera. And there, and that, that's a great point because there's a, um, there's a, a page or two, you know, a section of that illustration for Term Life Express that would explain, uh, that would explain in, in pretty great detail exactly um, how the return of premium works. And, and, and in addition, the illustration would have, if you were to run a full illustration, would have um, information on all these riders and things like that. Correct. Um, so just yeah. one other question that I'm seeing here, and um, you know, I wanna make sure I'm asking it right. They're asking how the premium is decided at the end of an ROP policy. And I'm wondering if that is a question regarding maybe the death benefit where you said they could take a reduced paid up well, so I, I take that question, uh, it, it's, I'll take an educated guess. I think that question might be, what if it's the end of the term period, in this case, 30 years, but I think the question is, even if it's 10, 15 or 20 years, what happens then? Or what happens to the premium? Well, uh, n nothing, the premium's gone, the policy is terminated. I, I, you know, with return of premium, you have the ability to get all the premiums back or you can take a, a, a reduced face amount with no further premiums and keep the policy in force to age 100. But I think part of the question might have been, you know, what if you want to re-up and keep the term policy in force? It, it may, that may not have been the question, but that we do get that question a lot. Well, you can, but you're going to be, you know, you'd have to reapply, go through new underwriting, and you're 30 years older or you're 20 years older or you're 10 years older, so that all has to come into play. But again, at the end, if that's not what the question means, at the end of the term period, again, you have those two choices. Uh, the premiums go away. Well, it, choice one is the premiums are returned, right? All of them. And choice two is you take a reduced paid up policy and keep the policy in force. Your premiums are not returned in that case. Right. And I think um, the question being there is, and they did clarify there, how is that reduced paid up amount calculated and how can they show that to a client um, when they're yeah, presenting the same? That, yeah, that would also be available on the, uh, on the, uh, and I'm, I'm trying to think I've got some slides and it would take me a while to find it. That would also be something that is explained and can be shown on a full illustration. Okay. So in the yeah. 31st year, it would show what, the client could have as a reduced paid up death benefit. Correct. Perfect. All right, well, I don't no. see any more questions and we definitely want to respect your time. Uh, and thank you again so much, David and everybody else for taking time out of your day to learn about mm -hmm. this product and how it can maybe fit into uh, what you're doing, maybe be added to what you're doing. Um, if you do have any other questions that arise, uh, please feel free to reach out to us here at Premier. Our number here is 800-365-8208. And the team extension is 607. That will get you to any of us who are available and we'll be happy to get you going. That, that's great. Thank you, Kelly. And thank you to everyone. I look forward to uh, working with you. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.